my DOA friends. I got this dresser set on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know what this thing has been through, uh, but there are just a ton of scratches on this, on both, both pieces. So it looks like maybe some puppy, <laughs> some puppy decided to have a go at this. Um, so first things first, uh, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm just gonna use uh, soapy hot soapy water with some lemon uh, essential lemon oil and get it nice and cleaned up. I have a bunch of this textured wallpaper. Uh, I bought a sizable roll. I can't remember how much, I think it was like 25 feet or something by two feet. Uh, the nice thing about this pattern is it's almost in a grid shape. So once I determine what my measurements, my rough measurements are, I can, it's really easy to cut. Um, the thing that is a little difficult about it is I have to make sure that the pattern is the same on every single drawer. So um, for the drawer fronts, they're about 34 inches wide. So it's nice to know that if I wanna go over a little bit to cut off that selvage edge, I can simply just cut a line down the pattern. Makes it really easy to know that I'm cutting a straight line. Um, the problem is that my drawer fronts are about eight inches tall. So if I want, for example, this star piece to be in the center, um, the, the top would be here and the bottom would be here, which doesn't allow me enough pattern to have a second drawer uh, stacked on this piece. So what I'm going to do is have this piece of the pattern be the center line so that I can fit two drawer, two drawer heights on this one piece. So I've sanded it. Obviously you can see I've scuffed it up really well. And the, the wood filler that I put in the holes has dried. Uh, it's not completely flat, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that the holes were filled. So the thing that's tricky about doing a patterned, textured wallpaper finish is making sure that the pattern on the drawer fronts matches on every drawer. So like I said before, I'm going to be making this piece, the center line going this way, but you also wanna make sure that from piece to piece when you're cutting that it's centered both both ways, right? So how I do that is I take my measuring tape, and so I've got eight inches approximately, right? Eight inches from end to end, and so I'm going to mark at the four inch line, which marks my center, and then I'm gonna do the same across the top, uh, which is 16 and three quarters is the center line across that way. And now make sure, you know, if you also wanna make sure that you're keeping in mind what is the top and what is the bottom of your dresser. Um, this particular pattern, I'm going to be centering both ways, so it shouldn't matter whether the, um, whether I'm doing the top or the bottom um, of the drawer. But then, so here you can see I made a mark on the center of the wallpaper. Um, and so that is where I wanna line up the wallpaper on the drawer to make sure that it's center across the, the entire width. Um, and then because my design is geometric, I wanna make sure that it's centered going across as well. So here, um, I'm gonna call them snowflakes for lack of a better word. 
I've got five snowflakes that that span the width of my drawer. And so the middle snowflake is this one right here. So that's where I'm going to want to make sure that my center is drawn. So in order to center my piece, I'm going to want it to be right about there. So just, you know, when you're doing textured wallpaper, you want to make sure you're keeping in mind the, the design and that it's consistent across all the drawer fronts. Um, you know, it's really easy to just take the, take the textured wallpaper and throw it on the drawer fronts. But then when you put the dresser back together, um, if it, if it's not consistent, it's going to really make, make it look really, really messy. So, um, that is how I center my, my design and make sure that the finished piece will look, um, really beautiful. dry overnight and then I cut enough pieces out of this um, quarter inch by one and three eight inch uh, trim strips that I buy I kind of I buy these in eight foot pieces so um, I have enough usually on hand but I cut them to measure the edge of the drawers and then what I'm going to do is use a little bit of wood glue um, and then my brad nailer, and I'm using 5 8 inch brad nails just so that it doesn't um, end up going through the wood uh, of the drawers. So little tiny nails. And I'm just going to attach them this way. And that will create a few little holes that I will have to fill later on. But I like adding the trim on the sides. I think it gives it a really nice clean look. And I don't have to be as precise when I'm cutting and placing and gluing my wallpaper onto the drawer fronts. Mm -hmm. assembling all the drawers I'm gonna go back in and use wood filler to fill all of the corners as well as the little holes um, using just regular wood filler Next, I'm going to go in because there was a little bit of a curve to the original drawers and I want this to appear as if it's a flat single piece. So I am going to go in and kind of cheat a little bit and just use my wood filler to flatten that out. On each of the drawer sides. So this is going to take a little bit of wood filler, but it's going to make it have a really nice clean edge at the end. And because I'm using so much wood filler, I'm probably gonna let this dry overnight before I sand it. So I've gone ahead and I have sanded the entire dresser with 120 grit sandpaper just to scuff sand it. 
Um, the drawers, I also, uh, I allowed the nail hole filler to dry completely. Um, and then I sanded that as well with 120 grit. I am going to be skipping the, the prime step today. I just want to see how this, how many coats it takes for uh, this fusion mineral paint. Uh, today I'm using fusion in Champlain. It's a really nice white color, uh, not pure white, but definitely a bright, uh, a brighter white for a furniture piece. And I just wanted to see, um, since the fusion paint that I used in the last few times was working so well, I wanted to see how it worked. And this time I'm using a roller. Uh, I'm trying really hard to avoid brush strokes on my finished piece. 